now let's see this problem okay so in this problem he is asking equivalent resistance sorry equivalent resistance across a and b and all resistors are r ohms r ohms we can say r1 ohms we can say now means which symmetry has to be considered see across terminals if you see symmetric or not yes except terminals if i see symmetric or not yes yes okay so means this symmetry also folding symmetry can be used or this symmetry mirror symmetry mirror symmetry or current symmetry we can say so across terminals current symmetry except terminals it is going to be voltage symmetry voltage symmetry let us use both okay so first let me have a copy of it okay now let us try to solve it with maybe voltage symmetry voltage symmetry now for example with respect to this all resistances are of same value in the question they have given that okay so for example with respect to this if i get v1 with respect to this i have to get same v1 same v1 okay now after that here same because folding symmetry okay so if it is v2 it also should be v2 if it is v3 it also should be v3 problem solved problem solved okay now means if you see point to be noted here is is this a bridge or not okay so bridge in the sense this particular thing can be removed can be removed but anyway if you want to keep that your way now let us think of for example this is v4 let us do what's a big deal okay now what happened here this is going to be a for example from a to v1 one r is there a to v1 one more r is there so this two are uh, done so a to v1 r by 2 this is going to be v1 okay now v1 to v2 v1 to v2 r v1 to v2 r connected in parallel or not yes so v1 to v2 this is v2 this is going to be r by 2 okay now v2 to v3 r v2 to v3 r so v2 to v3 r by 2 this is v3 okay now v3 to b r v3 to b r so these two resistance are over so v3 to two resistance are connected in parallel so r r parallel will become r by 2 now if you see v1 to v4 r v1 to v4 r v1 to v4 r so v1 v1 to v4 this is going to be r by 2 r by 2 okay now v3 to v4 r v3 to v4 r parallel so v3 to v4 v3 is already drawn here so v3 to v4 this is r by 2 problem solved getting my point right so v3 to v4 v3 to v4 problem solved in that case r by 2 r by 2 this is v4 okay so r by 2 r by 2 r r by 2 r by 2 r r r r by 2 okay so r by 2 r by 2 r so r by 2 r by 2 r so this is r this is r parallel is going to be r by 2 r by 2 plus r by 2 plus r by 2 3 r by 2 will be the answer okay now let us see let us see the same problem the same problem let us go ahead with current okay mirror symmetry mirror symmetry because across these two also across these two also is going to be symmetric or not yes okay so for example if i see here across these two mirror symmetry is there okay so except terminals it is going to be folding symmetry with respect to terminals it is going to be current symmetry okay now let us try to solve let us try to solve for example oh i'm sorry now for example this is i so leaving current should be i okay for example if this current is i1 okay so this current also should be i1 okay after that if this current is i1 this current should be i1 if this current is i1 this current should be i1 right because symmetric i1 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 so 2 i1 is going to be i i is going to be 2 i1 getting the point right now after that after that see here for example this is i2 so it should be i2 
okay so here leaving current is i2 here means coming out of that current also should be i2 so sorry this should be i2 so this should be i2 okay for example this is i3 this is i3 this will be i3 so this will become i3 so this will become i3 now how much is the current flowing through this center branch because very simple very simple what is that entering current equal to coming out of the current exit current so entry current exit current 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 getting a point right so if you see how much is the current flowing through this okay so how much is the current flowing through this zero zero because here entering current is i2 here supposed to be leaving current because entering current is from input side i'm saying means exit current is exit current is from output side i'm saying okay so now if you see means center branch can be eliminated now if you see i3 is the current entering i3 is the current entering, uh, leaving so i3 is the current entering i3 is the current leaving so this particular node can be splitted can be splitted means that means that let me remove this okay so let me think of drawing it again okay now what has happened here see here okay after that after that what do you say okay so the moment i2 is entering i2 is leaving i3 is entering i3 is leaving okay so leaving current should be from b side b side okay so entering current should be from a side a side anyway center branch is removed now if i can split this node because entry current is i3 leaving current is i3 here entry current is i3 leaving current is i3 so i can split the node or not yes if you want to redraw for example if you want to redraw means completely completely it will become what do you say okay so then what has happened like i'll be able to split the node i'll be able to split the node now if i can find the upper section equivalent resistance so upper section equivalent resistance divided by 2 is going to be net equivalent resistance across a and b problem solved okay now i can remove i can remove all this because these are all connected in parallel only you know okay upper section lower section now how much is this okay so of course let me think of this and this are connected in parallel equivalently is going to be r by 2 okay so everything is going to be because parallel connection okay r by 2 of course in other way also i can do okay in what way i can do in art way in what way i can do i can do taking r only taking r only and this particular combination equal resistance i'll find divided by 2 will be will be equivalent or else each and every resistance let me divide into half such that i need not take the lower section that's it okay now r by 2 r by 2 r r by 2 r by 2 r r r parallel r by 2 r by 2 plus r by 2 plus r by 2 is going to be 3 r by 2 problem solved okay so conclusion here is conclusion here is i can do either voltage okay so here for the same problem i have taken voltage in the sense folding symmetry except these terminals i try to fold like this okay so if i try to fold like this simple what i have done i have given the node numbers with the node numbers i have to read on the equivalent circuit problem solved okay or else if you want to go ahead with current symmetry current symmetry in the sense across terminals across terminals current symmetry in the sense it will come this okay so entry current should be equal to leaving current upper section current equal to lower section current this is a particular section current equal to this particular section current so whatever may be the currents are leaving here those currents have to enter here whatever may be the current sorry whatever may be the current entering here should leave here so center branch i remote again answer is going to be 3r by 2 only so for some type of problems we can either do current or voltage voltage okay symmetries current in the sense mirror symmetry across terminals we have to do and voltage in the sense holding symmetry except those two terminals we should be able to do okay